Uh, good afternoon, everyone. This is Chang Han, and today I'm going to present about the food in the world. And I choose this topic because I saw that every culture has a food, and also the food representing the, the culture. And that's why I chose that, this topic. And uh, uh, before starting the presentation, I'd like to ask you this one question What's your favorite food besides Korean food? Italian mm. food? Italian food, like a pasta, like a pasta and pizza. Pizza, and how about you? Um, Vietnam. Oh, Vietnam. yeah. Oh. Actually, in our day, we are more, our food is more like a, a Western life, so we can taste the hamburger very easily, and there are so many franchises, and also pizza, or there are so many franchises, and pasta also is very easy to have it when we win. And or just take or so easy to have it. But I guess this kind of food is how can I say that? Now that our food is very westernized, so in not only in Korea like Japan or Vietnam, we can easily have this kind of food in the world. But I guess there is some food which you guys don't know. That's why today I want to introduce about that food. Mm -hmm. The first one is Canadian food. Uh, do you know about any Canadian food? No. Maple syrup. <laughs> yeah, maple syrup. <laughs> yeah. I think most people, when they're talking about Kenya food, they just say that, uh, like a bacon, because mm -hmm. Kenya usually have a bacon uh, as their breakfast, and the pancake. Yeah. You know, I guess you know that the pancake is in, uh, famous for their breakfast, because the maple syrup mm -hmm. is the really popular souvenir in Canada. But after there are some food inside this kind of food. I like uh, the you know fish and chips. It's yeah, really popular in Canada and also America. But yeah, I had the fish and chips once in Canada. Actually, it was super delicious. And like, mm -hmm. I guess I hope that you guys will try it someday. And the second one is it's nama imoba. I guess you guys might be able to know about that food. Mm -hmm. This is the their dessert. It's, I can say that it's their traditional dessert. And the next one is potty. It's more like caramel. Mm -hmm. But, after, you know, uh, before this presentation, I say that uh, maple syrup is famous in the Canada. That's why maple potty is very popular in the potty. And also, when Halloween comes to the Canada, that time the pumpkin pot is pretty popular. And the last one is my favorite. And it's poutine. <laughs> poutine. Mm. Yeah. This is, I can say that, is the most popular uh, Canada's Canadian traditional food. Actually, it just, just, it just looks like the French fry. Mm -hmm. Right. But in there, it's French fry with the cheese and gravy sauce. Mm. Yeah, it's very delicious. <laughs> yeah, of course, as you can see here, it's pretty high calorie, but with Actually, yeah, Kenya love that poutine, so they made the poutine pizza. <laughs> and also, they usually have it with the beer. Yeah, yeah. I tried to find it and poutine restaurant in Korea, but I couldn't even find it even once. I mean that. Uh, I went to eat Taiwan and Canada, but I couldn't find it. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I hope that you guys will try it someday. The next food is crime food. Yeah. Uh, I had a crime food before, and also the I remember this food pierogi, or sometimes pe some people say that pierogi. Actually, it can be a Ukrainian food, or also Polish food, Polish food, Polish food. And also, I heard that the Russian enjoy this pierogi, or sometimes we call it the pierogi. And I tell you how to make a pierogi. The curing the dough into the circle first. Actually, I've heard that you don't need to cut in the circle, you can just make a shape. <laughs> and also placing the filling into the double pocket and then closing the double pocket and sealing the pierogi. Then you can make uh, this pierogi. Usually people have a pierogi with the sour cream and sauces and also bacon onion. It's, I can say it's super delicious. The next one is Malaysian food. This is the pineapple fried rice and chicken curry. 
uh, yesterday I, I asked my Malaysian friend about their food and she said that they usually have the curry and I asked her about what's the name of the curry and she said it will be just meat curry and she said there's a fish curry I've never had a fish curry but I'd like to try something mm -hmm. and also this is the curry picture the next one is the Greek food this is like lamb and I heard that I can remember that uh, bread name, but it was the taste was like naan. Uh -huh. Yeah, and uh, it also great food. And also, you know, the Greek salad also pretty yeah. popular. Yeah. Mm. The next one is lucky food. You know, I guess most people let you know about burrito or taco. Burrito or taco, and the quesadilla. This. It, inside of this food, there is a cheese, and this is the, my friend's mother make a quesadilla, and she, this it was quesadilla. Mm -hmm. Inside there, there's cheese, and we can add the more cheese or like a tomato or some sauce. Mm -hmm. It was super, it, it also delicious. Quesadilla. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The last one is Italian food. I guess I guess you guys know about that food, but you guys. Uh, didn't have that food, but eat. Uh, it's called the lasagna. And I love the lasagna, but I've never had lasagna in, in Korea. But I heard that in Yongsan there's a big lasagna. I heard it's one of the famous lasagna restaurants. Yeah. Uh, after there's a cheese and also tomato sauce, and also sometimes it depends on people, you can put anything that you want. This is your lasagna. Yes, thank you for listening to my presentation. I'm so sorry that I didn't prepare that much well. No.